just a handful of hormones makes the testosterone go down. Testosterone go down. Testosterone go down. Just a handful of hormones makes testosterone go down in the most delightful way. Bye, creep. Bye. So, yeah. As it turns out, my transition is screwing up my transition. So hey everybody, this video is going to be late this week, but I wanted to get something out. And, and as I was just discussing with Rachel, part of the point of this channel is to actually illustrate some of the realities of transitioning. Um, and those include many things, such as all the pills I just had to take, and also this fucking thing. So you're probably wondering, what the hell is that? So, as you know, part of the reason I'm doing this whole diet thing is that I'm prepping in order to have SRS. In addition to that, part of my prep for SRS is to prep the area. And um, as such, I need to soften and dimple the muscles down there, which means I have to dilate. Now, for anybody who has had SRS, you probably understand what dilating is um, afterwards, because, you know, you have a space there to keep open. Um, but this is really just dimpling the area so they have something better to work with. It's a newer method. A lot of people that I talked to were like, what in the hell is that? But basically what it boils down to is, for a half hour, twice a day, I gotta poke my taint with this freaking thing. So fun. So while I'm doing that, I've got time, so we're doing a video. Okay, Google, set a timer for 30 minutes. All right, 30 minutes, starting now. Thank you. So as I was saying, my transition is actually interfering with my transition. So I've been doing the keto diet in order to um, lose the weight that I need to lose um, so that I can have the surgery hopefully sometime in the fall. But because that is the most effective way for me to quickly um, help get off some of that weight, um, the dietary changes are actually affecting my hormone levels. Um, last week I had an appointment um, at the Mazzoni Center and when they did my blood work my testosterone was much higher than it normally is which seemed weird but then when you look up some of the effects of um, being in ketosis um, part of that is that your cortisol levels change and to compensate um, your body raises um, both your estrogen and your testosterone and your progesterone lowers so that's fun I mean genuinely I've been noticing I'm like why do I have more hair growing than I had been uh, since I started HRT that seems weird well that's why but when I went there anyway I had already planned on asking to get on a progesterone regimen, so there we go. Ultimately, once I have the surgery, it's not going to be something I have to worry about anyway. 
and at that point I can ease off of the diet. And part of that's going to be figuring out how to maintain the weight that I get to. Because honestly, uh, I didn't like where I was and I don't want to go back. So that's going to be something I'm going to have to actively work on. But in the meantime, I'm just trying to maintain where I'm at. And <laughs> it's frustrating to find yourself in a position where in order to get to a point of lowering your hormones so that you feel comfortable, you have to take all these pills. But then, in order to prep, to have the surgery to permanently help you with that, your prep messes up what you're doing with the hormone replacement therapy. And you just kind of end up feeling like you're just spinning your wheels in the mud. It's not fun. But, I have to say, I'm not in a bad place. Yeah, you know, I talked to my doctor about what's going on, and besides the progesterone that I was already prescribed, you know, basically I just need to take some more blockers to compensate for what's going on with my body naturally trying to make more testosterone. It's, it's a weird dilemma that I find myself in. But, ultimately, this minor setback will be just that, a minor setback. And as I continue to lose weight, Every pound that I have shed is one small step closer to having a healthier body and a body that is in a place where I am healthy enough to have the medical procedures done in order to have the healthiest body that I can have. So, that's what is going on with me. How's your weight loss journey going? I'd love to hear it. Go ahead and uh, leave a comment down below. And like, share, subscribe, all of the normal things. The hell is on my shirt? It's from the baby. The baby was sleeping on me and now there's a stain on my shirt. But anyway, I'm going to lay here for another 20 minutes, stabbing myself with this plastic thing, and uh, I'll see you guys around.